It's Halloween and things are getting a little batty around here. And its hat goes on like this. Well, this is the final step in creating this very expressive pumpkin. It's really easy to do. Let me walk you through the steps. First of all, you wanna start with making a lot of bats. You can see they're exploding out of its head. The material list is very short. Some black construction paper, some floral wire, and some black pipe cleaners. All of that comes together to make something, well, it's a lot of fun. You can see this pumpkin's very surprised. So what you wanna start with is a carved jack-o-lantern and make sure that the lid is really broad. Don't make it too small because you wanna be able to use it as a frog, if you will, or something to hold these wires coming out. And you can just use the flesh of the pumpkin to hold these wires in place. It's really that simple. And make sure the face is expressive. In this case, I wanted this jack-o-lantern to look like it's surprised that suddenly its brains have turned into bats. So let's get started and I'll show you how I made these bats. What you wanna do is just take a piece of paper, black, or you can use any color you like, frankly, and um, take and fold it into thirds like this, you see? By doing this, with one cut, you can get three bats. So I'm just gonna cut this out freehand. Start with the bottom or the base of the bat here, and here roughly in the center, and go up and down with one wing, then back up and then all the way to the corner, and then back up to this corner for a spike on the wing, and then back down to the body like that. And then up and over, and down for an ear, and then over at the top of the head, another ear like that, and that, and here, and then we go up to the corner again for the top of the wing, and then drop back down like that. And it's just two scallops away, one, and two. So there we go, three bats. So what you wanna do next is you take one of these floral wires and you put a little 90 degree turn on it like that, see? And then you take in the center of the bat, you just apply some hot glue. You set the wire in it like this and you take a tab of that construction paper and you lay it across there just to secure it. And then you just let that bat sit over here for just a few minutes until the hot glue dries. And while it dries, you go on to the next bat. And you just apply this one here, like this. Take another wire, 90 degree turn on it. Take a piece of your construction paper, apply it to the back, and let that bat rest and dry, okay? Now while that's going on, what I like to do is take some of these pipe cleaners. You see how I've stuck them in the top associated with the bat, is just take the pipe cleaner and wrap it around your index finger for those little curly cues like that. And then you just simply stick those into the pumpkin like this, just into the pumpkin flesh. See, they just fit beautifully. Now the bats are dry and you can fold their wings up like this to give them a little more movement and then you can just take that wire and tuck the bat into the top of the pumpkin like that. Isn't that fun? Easy to make. Hey, if you like this idea, try one yourself. I'd love to see pictures of it. Tell a friend about it and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home. And by the way, happy Halloween.